Hey guys, welcome back. Now, it's time to talk about China. China is the second biggest economy in the world right now, but many experts are saying they will soon become number one. It's really not surprising if you think about it, with a population of almost 1.5 billion people, that is four times the size of the US, there's just so many people to cater for. China is also growing a lot faster than the US, which is what I will show you in a second. So the question becomes, should we be investing in China right now? Well, I always like to keep in touch with what the big investors are doing, and China came onto my radar after following the portfolio of Ray Dalio. And for those who don't know, Ray Dalio is one of the top investors in the world right now. I've since been doing quite a lot of research of my own, and it does look like China might be a good investment opportunity. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing three main things. Firstly, some facts and stats on why China just might be a great opportunity. Then I'll share with you two ETFs that are being used by Ray Dalio's company, Bridgewater Associates. And then I'll finish with a bonus ETF, which I personally like, which has had really strong growth this year. Just one favor to ask, if you do find anything useful in this video, be sure to drop a like. That would be much appreciated. Okay, sit back and relax guys. Here is why the smart money is moving to China and then three great ETF options. Okay, so first up, why invest in China? So let's start with the growth rate. So this is the GDP growth of the United States. So we've got something to benchmark from. And as you can see, this is the last 10 years and the US has been growing approximately two to maybe 3% per year. And this is the growth rate of China. So GDP is gross domestic product. So it's their economy as a whole. So as you can see, even though the trend line is going down, they've been consistently growing over 6%. And this is two to three times the growth rate of the US. This chart basically just brings them both together. So you can see the bottom line is the US and the top line is China. And you can see that consistently for the last few decades, China's been outgrowing the US. And this means it's only a matter of time until China becomes number one. Now, I recently watched an amazing documentary, which was about an hour and a half long, which really explained what we've been told about China just may not be true. I will link the full video below. However, here is a two minute clip. What if I told you there's a magical but completely misunderstood place where seemingly all the smart money in the world is beginning to flow? You walk down the street, you go to a different city, and you say, my God, last time I was here five years ago, none of this was here. It's a place where people are getting wealthier like never before, where more millionaires and billionaires are being created than anywhere else on Earth. That transformation is probably the most rapid and significant, I think, in humankind ever. It will probably come as no surprise that the world's richest and most successful individuals have already discovered this miraculous place. People like Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, Bill Gates, George Soros, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Jim Rogers, and more. And the money being made here is incredible. But here's the irony. In this land of vast new riches, money no longer exists in the traditional sense. There's never a line at the few remaining ATM machines, no one carries a wallet, and fewer still write checks or carry dollar bills, credit cards, or coins. Instead, there's a radical new type of currency exchange used to pay for everything. I don't need to carry a wallet at all. I mean, literally no cash so at all. So you don't carry any cash? No, no. I can day. live like every day for- No for credit even, cards? No. no, no. You're about to see this place in person. I'm going to take you there. And as you'll see, in many ways, it's more advanced than anything you're probably familiar with. You'll see stores without employees, buses that drive themselves, facial recognition security, and a string of other new breakthroughs and trends that are light years ahead of where you live. It's technology and product hunger is really unparalleled. It's, it's not seen any time, anywhere else in the world and in the history. But what really sets this place apart is the money, both the money pouring in and the money being made. There is the greatest wealth creation event in the history of the world, frankly, happening right here, right now. Now, to truly understand and take advantage of what's happening here, you really have to see this place for yourself. So I'm about to give you that opportunity as I take you there in person to show you the most misunderstood place in the world and the greatest money-making opportunity of our lifetimes. 
Investing legend Jim Rogers has been here all along and watched that explosive growth happen firsthand. I first came here in 1984. I was terrified because I'd been listening to American propaganda that the Chinese were evil, vicious, dangerous, bloodthirsty people. It didn't take me long to, of traveling around China to find out they're disciplined, educated, uh, ambitious, hardworking. Jim Rogers probably knows China more deeply than any other American today. When he came here in the early 80s, he traveled the entire country by motorcycle. Not once, but twice. He'll never forget what he saw. I mean, it was amazing to me. Everybody was up early, working, and they didn't stop. They worked all day and all night. They were saving, they were recycling everything. They weren't doing it to, be, right, to right. save the environment. Right. They were doing it to make money uh, in those days. And I could just see it was, it was everywhere. I could see the sense of education. I could see the ambition. I could see the, the, the sense that our children should have a better life. I mean, it was just everywhere. They call themselves communists, but they were probably the best capitalists in the world in 2018, 2019. California is more communist than, than China is. Massachusetts is more communist than China. And so why do so few Americans know the truth about what's happening in China today? Most Americans really know what they, they know about China through the lens of, of the media. China is really going in extremely dangerous directions. This is a country that is ripping off the United States. The biggest threat, obviously, is China. So you end up having sort of a, a, a warped view on, on, on China that it tends to have more negative stories, and that's structural. It's not malicious. And uh, so I think a lot of Americans can be excused for having certain preconceptions about what China's like. What I tell Americans about the, the negative press, I, I think the media does it disservice. There's a lot of um, you know, misperceptions about, around China. Uh, but what's really happening in China is this is their moment. Um, they, they are now a global power. They're the second largest economy in the world, will be the largest. So let's take a look at these ETF options. ETF number one is the iShares China Large Cap ETF, ticker symbol FXI. The iShares China Large Cap ETF seeks to track the investment results of an index composed of large cap Chinese equities that trade on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. This is a 10 year chart, and to be honest, don't really find this chart that exciting. It's pretty much been flat for quite a lot of years. However, here's some details on the fund. The size is approximately 4 billion. It's made up of about 50 companies. The fee is quite high at 0.74, and its year-to-date performance, like I mentioned, is quite flat. So the US equivalent of this fund is probably going to be something like the Dow, just made up of their biggest companies. So obviously this won't include small and medium-sized companies where a lot of the growth comes from. But out of the three, this is my least favorite. Taking a look at the top 10 holdings in this fund. So we have Maituan being number one, Tencent and China Construction. These are the biggest weightings before it goes into insurance and Xiaomi and Alibaba. Ray Dalio's ETF number two. And this is the iShares MSCI China ETF, ticker symbol MCHI. The iShares MSCI China ETF seeks to track the investment results of an index composed of Chinese equities that are available to international investors. Taking a look at the 10 year chart, so this has more of a positive growth trend, which is good. Size of the fund is also bigger at around 6 billion. Companies in this fund are over 600. The fee is a bit lower as well at 0.59 and its year-to-date performance has been really, really strong, almost 20%. Now, the equivalent US fund for this one will probably be the S&P 500. So it's made up of a much broader base of Chinese companies. Taking a look at the top 10, so you can see there's really strong holdings in the Alibaba group at the top. The weighting for this is over 16%. And it also includes the huge 2020 runaway success this year, which is NEO. But what I really like about this is that one of Alibaba's companies, Ant Group, will probably be IPOing next year. So we could see a lot of growth in this number one holding. And Ray Dalio himself even increased his Alibaba holding by 40% recently. Bit of insider knowledge there for you. And lastly, the bonus ETF. So I looked at a lot of China ETFs and this was one of the ones which I really liked. It is 
the Crane Shares China Internet ETF, ticker symbol KWEB. KWEB tracks a foreign equity index composed of overseas listed Chinese internet companies. So basically, this is a fund of Chinese tech companies. And you can see the five year chart looks the best out of the three. Quite a decent sized fund at 3.6 billion. It's made up of 43 companies. The fee is quite high at 0.76, but its year to date performance is really strong, 46%. And it's top 10. So the first thing to notice is just how much of the fund is made up of the top 10, over 60%. So it's really concentrated in these top 10 companies. And all the big names are on there, Tencent, Alibaba, Maituan. But at the moment, similar to the US, the tech companies are really dominating the stock market. So there you are guys, it looks like the time has come to pay more attention to the growth of China. The fact that their GDP is growing at two to three times the rate of the US is a fact that we probably shouldn't ignore. I showed you that the two main ETFs being used by Ray Dalio were FXI, which is a large cap China ETF. The second was the MCHI, which is a 600 company blend. And I personally like the bonus ETF, which was KWEB, which is Chinese technology companies. Full disclosure, I have moved a percentage of my portfolio into a China ETF. However, please do your own research as always, as there is always risks when it comes to investing. Okay, so just one favor to ask, if you did find anything useful in this video, then be sure to drop a like, that would be much appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, then click below and join our community. I've got some great videos coming up that you don't wanna miss. Any questions or comments, just post them below. Okay, cheers guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.